Hi everyone. Well, this is a a video what I didn't really want to do, uh, but uh, there's dramatic things happened in the canal world, uh, very sad things as well. Um, it's uh, the major breach on the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union. Now we are very, very familiar with this area as we view, we use this branch going through to places many, many times and we love the area. Um, but it's got a huge impact on the canals and the economies and marinas and people generally and holiday makers. It's got, that is going to have such a big impact. Uh, so our plans have gone completely awry now and we're, we're putting things in place uh, for our first trip and we're putting a vlog together for that but I'll be, it'll probably be a couple of weeks down the line showing you where we were going to go and why we can't go and where our first trip's going to be um, first of all in 2018 it's a bit of a memory lane down memory lane trip he'll end up being but there's one thing for certain <laughs> we'll show you loads of places what nobody else does but uh, we'll do a vlog uh, when we've spoke to CRT and see if we can it depends how big the work is and that you see uh, but if I can speak to some of the CRT lads because we know quite a few and see what's going on on the middle, middle which branch we'll, um, we'll do that as well um, but that's down the line anyway things happen I know it's sad and it impacts so many people and so many businesses but uh, I just thought I'd, I know it's a few it's probably 10 or 12 days earlier than I expected this uh, this next vlog but we've been to um, the National Waterways Museum at Ellesmere Port it used to be the Ellesmere Port uh, Boat Museum and we've done some filming there so I thought let's lighten it up a bit uh, and show you the first one um, we've, we've um, got a few done but we'll show you the first one not not long videos but it's a nice relaxing one anyway and uh, we'll get it out there so completely change of plan part of our our year now is altered uh, and per trip we still have to keep going because we've got we've got plans for some work to be done on the boat uh, regarding an alternative type of solar panel um, but I can go in that I'll go into that in more detail uh, probably early summer something like that so for now it's it's our first video from the waterways museum and we'll see you and Bernadette will by the way not just me Bernadette will see you as well uh, in some future videos but for now thanks for watching back a bit early but we just thought we'd let you know that the the breach has changed everything for us so we'll release this one and we'll just finish off the bits and pieces at home and then I think we'll be getting to the boat and loading it all back up in the next few days so I'll see you all soon. ta -ra. Today we've come to visit the Ellesmere Port Boat Museum or the, is it the National Waterways yes, Museum? Yes, the National Waterways Museum. No doubt there'll be uh, lots of different things to see. And if we're very lucky, we might get some of the uh, engines uh, running because they have quite a few in... Uh, is it in the pump house? Yes, in the powerhouse. Powerhouse. Power, power hall. Power hall, right. Yeah. So if we can get some of them, that would be great. That would be a bonus. Yeah. So we've plenty to see. And uh, we better start off. And uh, let's hope we get some good footage for you all. Right, we'll get on our way. Bye for now. See ya, ta-ra. There are so many things to see and do at the museum, we have split our vlog into three parts. In the first part, we're going to look at some marvellous engineering 
and engines. Now, currently we're in the pump house which contains mighty steam driven pumping engines. These used to supply the power for hydraulic cranes and capstans throughout the dock area at Ellesmere Port. They also, <laughs> believe it or not, they struggled with lime scale just like your kettle can and people used to go inside and hammer and tap the lime scale away by hand. Shortly in this vlog you will also be seeing the Yearwood steam engine which is you well it used to power the weaver packet boat Davenham for carrying soda ash. It is an absolute stir attraction and with a bit of luck they can power it up for us later and you can see this wonderful piece of machinery in all its glory and that should be a treat to behold. We've now moved down to the boiler house. This was erected in 1873 to house two single furnace cornice boilers. They were used for making steam to drive the hydraulic pumps in the pump house next door which you've already looked at. The boiler house was lengthened and widened in 1910 to accommodate the two much larger and more efficient Lancashire boilers you can see today. They were installed as part of an improvement scheme to the pump house machinery to enable more water to be pumped to the flour mills which were built alongside the lower basin. The new boilers were built by Tinker Shenton and Co of Hyde in Manchester in, in 1910. These furnaces burned four tons of coal a day to eat each boiler, turning it into steam to drive the pumping engines. A totally brilliant piece of engineering, if I may say so. For the next 10 or 11 minutes, I'm going to keep quiet. I just want you to listen to Poetry in Motion.
well thank you for watching we really appreciate that hope you enjoyed it for now we're going to show you a couple of vintage engines they're russell newbury brilliant pieces of engineering and then in part two we're going to take you for a peep into the past and we're going to pop into porter's row at the national waterways museum where you'll see inside the houses and travel through history from the 1830 until probably around the 1950s.